Larry down at the shop today, we've got a uh, alternator here we've designed as a one wire uh, for our customers. Want to show you how that works. So this is a 12 volt negative ground 60 amp alternator. It is uh, prior to 1972 in GM products like uh, say 64 roughly to 1972. Uh, GM had this style of alternator which was an external regulator and in some cases this mounted on the driver's side and it needed this little spot here because it was hitting the uh, the valve cover so so sometimes that's critical but uh, it looks like say a 1968 Chevelle would take and you just hook up the one wire you don't have to worry about your regulator and it looks more period correct so we'll go ahead and test it here We've got a plug in here where you would normally plug in the wires because there's obviously no wires needed. And real simple setup here. We've got our just our ground connection here. And then we'll just put a positive connection on here. And we'll just simply hook to this battery. And this is a real nice old bench. We can check this and we can watch our RPM as this thing starts turning. And you'll notice because it's a B circuit, it turns on very quickly as far as a charge rate. So it's 500 RPM, not charging. Get this thing up. There's about a thousand. It's, it's charging about 1200 RPM. It, it came on, which is extraordinarily good. Uh, it's a B circuit field. And that helps that. Uh, the, uh, the alternators that are on vehicles are typically three to one pulley size. So the pulley is usually three times smaller than the crankshaft. So when you're running at 700 RPM, say idling, then the alternator is at 2100. But this one is, you know, obviously 14.4 volts. And we're clear down to 1000 RPM. So it would be charging right away on a vehicle so that really is a plus no revving up just start the engine so this is a comparison of that alternator this is the one wire alternator that's available everywhere it's a delco 10 si and you know it's pretty common everybody recognizes the look of this and that's fine this is just what we have come up with to be more period correct of that time period. I want to say also that, you know, not every situation calls for a one wire alternator. Rebuilders uh, can do just about anything as far as the charging and starting systems. And <clears throat> we don't always use a one wire alternator. For example, our, our booster cart with a battery charger system on it doesn't use a one wire alternator. And with our disruption of our parts chain due to COVID, fuel prices, all of the things that we've experienced in business. Uh, a lot of rebuilders all across the country uh, have, you know, still survived in business. They are uh, organizations out there like the Electrical Rebuilders Association and APRA. Those organizations stand behind rebuilders and there's rebuilders in a lot of places. You just need to look for them. We as rebuilders have got to be creative to get this stuff done for our customers because of all the things that I mentioned, supply chains and things like that. So we are out there, just need to reach out to them and get your things fixed.